square bears what's up it's your girl Chris welcome to my channel this is beauty MC square so in this video I'm gonna show you how I did this makeup look it's really really simple I really focused on um, showing you guys how I did the eyes uh, I wanted to try a pink um, and deep red smoky eye something really really sexy you guys know I love my cat eyes so I couldn't veer away from that I, I wanted to introduce you to a new palette that I got a couple of months ago maybe a, a month or so ago and it's from Modus Cosmetics and this is my beauty weapon um, palette and what I like about this palette is it has nine eyeshadows it has like two lip colors and lip glosses um, that really complement the whole gauge of the colors and shades in this uh, eyeshadow palette and they have them each column kind of separated by intense natural and smoky and I'm working out of this column right here smoky I use a little bit of the black just to intensify a little bit more on the eyes. What I like most about this palette is for the novice makeup users who really just want a simplified, super glamorous look, uh, there's not a whole lot of eyeshadows to sort of overwhelm you. And then they have these little diagrams at the top right here to kind of give you step by step. So I thought it was pretty cool that that kind of gives you a diagram. To be honest, I like any kind of like beauty kits that do that for the novice makeup users kind of like give them a simplified step by step tutorial on how to best wear um, whatever products they have here so that's awesome so again the focus of this tutorial is just the eyes but don't worry I have a full product listing on everything that I have used and worn in this look make sure you check out the description box below and without further ado if you guys are wanting to see this eyeshadow look keep on watching First, I apply my eyeshadow primer and base just to neutralize the eye color and to make sure that the eyeshadows stay put. Next, I swept in a cream colored eyeshadow into the brow bone area and blend it down. Next, I picked up this middle tone eyeshadow from MAC and applied it into the crease area, a little bit above the crease area, so in the orbital bone socket area. I just swept that color in. Um, using back and forth motions just to create a transitional color. But right into the crease, I applied that dark brick red eyeshadow from the Modus palette and I swept that directly into the crease. So you can see that nice defined um, rich red color. Sweeping it in back and forth and making sure you blend that well. The next thing that I did is I grabbed that shimmery pink eyeshadow from that same eyeshadow palette and I packed that eyeshadow all over my mobile lid. Now if you feel like you over blended um, any of the colors that you applied previously, go ahead and reapply it. Just do it a little bit at a time, don't overdo it, so just take a little bit of that product on a brush and lightly sweep it back in any areas. I also took that pink eyeshadow and applied it to the inner tear duct. But now what I'm doing is I'm defining my upper lash line and I'm doing a classic slanted winged out eyeliner. First, I'm starting off with a cream eyeliner because um, it, I find that I have a little bit more control with creating the basic shape of the cream, um, of the liner, I'm sorry. And so I just drew it in and then just to clean up the lines a little bit, I went ahead and used my um, eyeliner pen. So you can use both steps, one step or the other, just really depends on how steady your hand and or how great the product is. Now for the lower waterline, I applied a nude colored uh, pencil and this is like an eye brightening pencil from NYX. And right below the waterline, I went ahead and defined my lower lashes using that black eyeshadow from the Modus Cosmetics palette. Right over the black though, I added that brick red eyeshadow and I slightly smudged that color in. And that's pretty much how I did that. Um, just bringing a little bit more definition back, I went in with my eyeliner marker and just defined the lash line one more time before I went ahead and add my mascara. Um, I like this mascara from NYX. I still have to try it a little bit, but this is faux lashes and it has like um, 
like little lash fibers so it's meant to extend your lashes or make your lashes look fuller it's okay it's a great color payoff so I like really really black mascara but um, it doesn't do much with doing it in my lashes from what I saw anyway for the rest of the eye I just popped on some spiky lashes as you can see and for the skin I just went ahead and applied my foundation contour and highlight as usual I put quite a bit of shimmer on my face and applied a really soft rosy pink blush and some two-dimensional juicy lips so make sure that you check out the info box for a product listing but that's it that's all thanks